there, this is Renee from Floating Lights and you're watching a brand new episode of Focus Wednesdays. And today I'm gonna show you how to add drama to your photo non-destructively using the curves adjustment layers. So non-destructively means that you're making adjustments to your photo that you can later change or edit or remove without affecting your background layer or your main photo. So to do this non-destructively, I do wanna do it on a separate layer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come down to the bottom of my layers panel, down to the new adjustment layer icon. So that's this little circle with a half circle in it. And I'm going to select it, and I'm gonna select curves from the list that pops up here. And the first thing we're gonna do is drag the middle of our curves line um, just straight up. So it's kind of up and to the left, and that's just bringing up the highlights in our photo and this essentially will become the dodging. So that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna rename this layer dodge or lighten. I need to do the exact same thing for um, my burn layer. So I'm gonna come back down to the bottom of my layers panel. I'm gonna click on the new adjustment layer and I'm gonna select curves from the drop down list. And in this curves layer, we're actually gonna make the burn. So we need to drag our line down and to the right. So this is the burn layer. And that looks pretty good as well. So I'm just gonna rename this burn or darken. Now the next thing we need to do is invert these layer masks. So we wanna make sure that we're not on the layers themselves, but that we're on the layer mask. So you can see these four little brackets that are around um, the layer. We wanna make those four little brackets around the layer mask. So you just wanna click on your layer mask and then you're gonna hit Command I or Control I on a PC and it's gonna invert your layer mask. And you're gonna do the same thing for both layer masks. So coming down to the dodge now, we're just gonna hit Command I or Control I, and it is going to invert that. So this makes the photo look like there's nothing happening, right? Nothing has changed. You can turn these on and off, and it hasn't made any effects to our photo. So we're actually gonna use our layer mask and selecting a white brush. So coming down here to the bottom um, of our toolbar and making sure that our foreground color is set to white. And you can toggle back and forth between black and white by hitting X on your keyboard. Um, so making sure white is in the foreground, we're gonna select our brush tool. We're gonna make sure we have a really soft brush. So I'm gonna change my hardness here to hardness zero. And with your opacity, mine's set to about 18 and that's probably okay for this. So if yours is set too high or too low, maybe adjust it to between 15 and 20 is probably good. And now we're gonna paint this lightning or this darkening onto our photo. So adding drama or dodging and burning is essentially lightening the lights and darkening the darks in your photo. So that is what we wanna do. So we just wanna make sure that we're on the lightning layer. Um, and I'm just gonna adjust my brush size a little bit here. And any part that your photo is light, we're actually just going to brush on um, this effect onto the light. So it's actually just bringing up the lights a little bit more. So I'm gonna do this really quick here. So that's pretty good. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with the darks. So I'm gonna to go to my burn layer adjustment tool. I'm gonna to leave everything set the same. So I'm still gonna use a white foreground color. My brush is um, selected. My hardness is still set to zero and my opacity is still at 18. And now I'm just gonna do the exact same thing but for the darks. So for the burn section, I am just going to brush on darkness onto my photo. So anywhere that my photo is already a little bit dark, I'm just gonna emphasize that a little bit and brush dark onto this image. Perfect. So I'm just gonna show you the before and after. So here is the before without any drama added, and here is the after with the drama added. That's a little bit hard to see, so I'm actually just gonna merge these together. Create a new group, and I'm gonna call this drama. And now we can see the effect that it's made. So here's the before without any drama added to the photo. And then here's the after with some more drama. So it's really just um, added highlights to the already light parts and it's added some more shadows to the already dark parts. And that's really how you make an image stand out or add some oomph into your image. So before and after. 
So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or come on over to Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.